Will cleaning your desk really make you happier? Ugh, cleaning your desk. Does this feel like a punishment? You know, like when you were a kid and your mom said, go clean your room and don't come out until you do. Sorry for that finger shake. When you look at clutter, you get stressed. Research shows it. Even when it's your own clutter, it registers as unfinished business, which causes a stress reaction in your brain. You may be so used to it that you don't even feel it, but the stress is real. Why does mess lead to so much stress? Well, according to psychologist Sherry Borg Carter, clutter bombards our mind with excessive stimuli causing our senses to work overtime on things that aren't necessary or important. Clutter distracts us by drawing our attention away from what our focus should be on. Clutter makes it more difficult to relax, both physically and mentally. Clutter constantly signals to our brains that our work is never done. Clutter makes us anxious because we're never really sure what it's gonna to take to get to the bottom of that pile. Clutter creates feelings of guilt, as in, I should be more organized, and embarrassment, especially when others drop by our homes or our workspaces unexpectedly. Clutter inhibits creativity and productivity by invading the open spaces that allow most people to think and brainstorm and problem solve. And her eighth reason that clutter causes stress is that clutter frustrates us by preventing us from locating what we need quickly. You know, like files and paperwork lost in the pile or keys swallowed up in the clutter. Confession time, this tip is one of those physician heal thyself moments for me. Paper slays me. I have file systems and organizers and plenty of places to store things in my office, but nine times out of 10, if you were to walk into my office, you would see a messy desk. So as soon as I post this, I promise to go clean my room and I won't come out until I do. By taking the time to clean off the piles of paper, rearrange the tools you need, and excavate the little personal things that make you smile, you will relieve stress. Plus, have a nice, neat work environment. Give yourself time in your schedule each week to clean your desk. Pick a day and a time that you're usually not very busy and busy yourself with doing something good for your personal happiness. Come on, you're worth it. I'd love to hear how this tip increases your happiness. Please contact me here or on my Facebook page and share your wisdom. And if you'd like a happiness quick tip to show up in your inbox each week to start your week off right, sign up and it's yours. Just scroll to the bottom of any page on my website, sandyjweaver.com, and the sign up form is right there in the footer. Have a happier day. Remember, you're in charge of that.